We now know who police say intentionally left a gas valve running at Hardin Valley Academy. Police arrested Jay Kosterman saying he left the gas valve running in the science lab overnight on purpose. We're still working to find out why, but he is charged with reckless endangerment. Our Sam Luther is joining us now live from Hardin Valley. Sam, what more are we learning and how are parents feeling? Yeah, Brittany, especially when you consider the tragedy that happened earlier this week in Nashville, parents here are understandably concerned. For the folks here in Hardin Valley, it's less about what did happen yesterday at school. It's more about what could have happened. It's very scary. Um, it's scary not only for the students and the parents, but also for the faculty and staff as well. Two gas valves intentionally left on overnight in the science lab at Hardin Valley Academy. The district says it was a contracted worker with local company Duncan and Sons. I mean, speculating, obviously, like an explosion could happen. Andre Kaler is the parent of a freshman at the school. She's just happy Thursday didn't end with an explosion, but she's concerned that an overnight custodial worker was able to pose a threat to her child. Even though they're not coming in contact with our children, they're coming in contact with everything our children does do come in contact with. The Knox County Sheriff's Office is charging 23-year-old Jay Kostermans with reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon involved. Coming to the school after a report says he left home for the evening out of anger after having a dispute with his mom. It's Kostermans' only charges in Knox County, according to an arrest database, but still parents are looking for more about who has access to their child's school. Are they going through the same standards that KCS normally has? Are they being background checked? Are they being fingerprinted? Are they being drug tested? Like all employees have to go through that. Now we've asked Coasterman's former employer, Duncan and Sons, as well as Knox County Schools, if he ever got a background check and where that background check may have come from, what all it entailed. We have yet to get those answers this afternoon. We'll share them with you as soon as we do get them. Brittany, yesterday you heard probably 1 o'clock is when students got dismissed. They had fans trying to air that school building out, really of that gas lingering scent. Today, business as usual, all things considered for students, but you heard from those parents right there. Still some lingering concerns as students got out normal time today. Sam Luther will continue to follow the story. Sam, thank you.